one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Velvet Sky, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Angelina Love. Time for the TNA knockouts here on Thursday Night Impact. And you know, my first thought is the flashback to what we heard earlier from the voodoo queen, Roxy LeBeau. The fact that well, she had a premonition, a bad feeling for Angelina Love as she's set to square off here against Awesome Pop. Tonight, you'll be hurt. <laughs> Don't go. You know that Roxy was right on the money when she talked about that feast for fight in case when it came to BKM. She had a bad feeling about that. My question is, when it comes to Angelina Love, is this a case of intuition or is it a case of just common sense with the realization that Angelina Love must go one-on-one -on -one with the unstoppable, the dominating, TNA knockout champion, Awesome Pop. Aisha Saeed residing in Japan. She's a six feet one inches tall, weighs 272 and three eight pounds, and is a TNA Women's Knockout Champion. Usu Kong. Let's take you back. Let's review the path of destruction here in TNA since the arrival of one awesome Kong. Think about the strength of concussions. Think about. TNA knockouts put on the disabled list, all courtesy of Awesome Kong and all courtesy of that devastating finishing move, the Awesome Bomb Power Bomb. Well, I mean, think of all the concussions she's caused. Think of all the, the girls that she put on the shelf with that Awesome Bomb. I mean, she is a force. You mentioned it. The premonition of Rocky Laveau. I'm kind of with you. I don't know what kind of a premonition that is. I get that feeling every time Awesome Kong comes in the ring. But Angelina Love, you heard her. You heard her and Velvet Sky. They don't want to be considered the pretty faces here at TNA. They want to be taken seriously. Well, there's a great way to be taken seriously. Go out there and beat Awesome Kong, and everybody in the world will take you seriously. That's for sure. Now look how gingerly senior referee Rudy Charles is checking on Awesome Kong. I was just going to talk about this change of attitude that we saw earlier from Angelina Love and, and Velvet Scott, and we're seeing it right here as Angelina Love is taking it right to Kong. Well, she had referee Rudy Charles check with the weapons that she used to her advantage to go after and try to catch her by surprise. And you can see she sure is coming at her with some force. Kick to the gut. Wow. Unbelievable, Angelina Love! Oh, but she just can't bring her down. Look at this. Great, great game plan, Mike. Up to that point, when you try to overpower Awesome Kong, comes running right at Kong, who grabs her in mid-air and oh. puts her any damn way, way she pleases. pleases. You better believe it. I mean, you have to take her in so many different ways. We've seen Gail Kim use speed, athleticism, and pure wrestling ability. We've oh, seen ODB oh. hang in there with her street fighting ability. And think about Destination X, when we're going to get to see a three-way matchup with Gail Kim, ODB, and Arthur Kong for the championship. You're right on the money. Non-title match tonight here on Impact at Destination X, the three-way with the championship on the line. Awesome Kong, Gail Kim, and ODB, and I understand if you go to TNA Mobile, close up, look there at the eyes of Raisa Saeed, the associate of Awesome Kong. If you go to TNA Mobile, if you text TNA to 76,000, all the behind-the-scenes details on that three-way knockout match upcoming at Destination X. And I think about that matchup, and I think somehow, and they haven't been able to do it yet, but ODB and Gail Kim are going to have to work together, and then it's going to have to be one of them to find a way to beat the other. But if they don't, Awesome Kong will just go right through them in a path of destruction like she's done everybody. Look at this. Pulling back from the chin of Angelina Love and the forehead and basically breaking her back in the process. Oh, wow. Just cranking on the neck as well. You know we had those close-up looks at the associate, the confidant, 
of the TNA Knockout Champion, Awesome Kong. We saw it ringside. Yes, one by Issa Saeed. A little, little checking into her background, and boy, I couldn't find much. But I understand that she trained with Kong as a wrestler in the dojos of Japan. Well, that definitely gives them a reason to be together because obviously it's somebody that Awesome Kong trusts because Awesome Kong's another person you just, you can't find much information about other than the fact that she destroys everybody in her path. But Angelina Love showing some, some heart, showing some fire, and not showing intimidation like everybody else. And nice jawbreaker by Angelina Love. You know, and think of the situation. To communicate with Awesome Kong, you must go through Raisha Saeed as Angelina Love. Goes cross body block off the top, but caught in mid-move by Kong. Gonna take her and power her up. Oh, look at this. She's just getting... Oh! Why well, she couldn't get it? Oh, that kiss backhand. That right back fist just creamed her. Ooh, that was wicked. Not the cold. Spinning back fist. You're right. Just about took the head off of Angelina Love as we have that close-up look at the eyes of Raisha Saeed, her confidant, her associate. Here it is, the double underhook. This leads to the implant buster, and she just creams her. And Angelina Love, it's just getting worse and worse the longer this goes. And like I said, I admire her for the fact that she came out there and, and gave her everything that she could. But boy, it's Velvet Sky trying to cheer her on. Yeah. Oh, no. You can cheer oh, all no. you want. You can oh, cheer no. all you want. But once you've been hit by the awesome bomb, it's one, two, three. Here is your winner, the TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Awesome Kong. I have to say, one hell of an effort yes. by Angelina Love in defeat, but this Kong is just too much of a force. Once she gets you where she wants you, once she hits you with some of those devastating moves, like the implant buster, and then, of course, we check out the replay right here. Once she hits that awesome bomb, that sit-up power bomb, nobody gets up from that because it is just hit with a force. It's just like an earthquake, Mike. She sets you up with that implant buster and then finishes you off. Yes, that path of destruction, the string of injuries continues, and I hear the music. She's ready for March 9th in Norfolk, Virginia. She's ready for Destination X. Hey, Kong! <laughs> in 10 days, we are gonna find out who's the knockout of all knockouts. Gail Kim, she may be great. She may be in crown, the first ever teenage knockout champ. Yeah, we get it. And Kong. You may be big and bad, ooh, rawr! But the two of you have nothing on me, cause I'm the O D B O. And the two of you are gonna learn the hard way, and you're gonna find out that the O D B is not just another pretty face. Oh! oh, here comes Gail Kim from behind on Awesome Kong. While ODB was talking, Awesome Kong's attention was there, but Gail Kim came in and, man, a life she just hit a brick wall there, Mike. Wow. Again, it's a situation where you cannot match power with Awesome Kong as ODB slides in, and these are the three. They're going to square off at Destination X in the championship match. And that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to hit Kong from opposite sides. One's going to have to hit her high, the other low, whatever they can do, and then try to work it out. Oh, oh God, man. what a close line. A cut her head off. Holy cow. Awesome Kong is just... I don't think anybody can stop her right. Look at Gail Kim, though. Using ODB as a step ladder and then nails her with the kick. She's so innovative. Climbed right up the back of ODB to prevent ODB from being awesome bombed by Awesome Pong. And the three square off. Yes, championship at stake at Destination X. And that's how you do it. The teamwork as both of them hit the drop kicks. And now they're going after it. Wow, it's like a double spear in the ring.